Hey there. I'm sitting at the base of the peach tree, not the fruit, but the uh, Mayan peach tree in the town square of Santa Maria Poniente. And I wanted to give you a little tour of the uh, epiphyte communities, the communities of plants that live on this tree. Um, not a lot of trees out there that require a tour, uh, but this is one of them. It's probably about 100 years old. Uh, they say that it was here when the town got started in the 40s. Um, but the first thing that, that you notice is that there's a giant palm tree actually embedded in the peach tree. And you can see there's the top of the palm tree there. Yeah, so it's that's a pretty big epiphyte, I'd say. Um, over here, there's a couple of air plants in their native habitat. You might remember air plants from like when they were really cool in middle school. Um, at least I thought they were. Over here, you get a better shot of those air plants. Yeah, there you go. And right next to the air plants, you can see a bunch of cactuses growing, cacti. And you might be surprised to hear cacti uh, when you're practically in a rainforest. Um, but cacti actually do really well up in the trees because um, it's actually a really dry environment, even though it can rain a lot, the water falls straight down off the tree and never quite gets, doesn't really get stored in, in any sort of soil because there is no soil because you're in a tree. So a cacti actually do really well because they can store the water in their stems. Um, another water storage plant is uh, the bromeliad. Um, a lot of our house plants come out of tropical communities. And a lot of them come out of uh, rainforest understory because that's really shaded and our houses are really shaded environments. But this is a bromeliad in its native habitat, which is up in a tree. And I'm having trouble with the sun. But anyway, there it is. And they store their water in the center. You probably have seen that. Um, they store their water just in a little cup in the center of the plant. Um, and now we're going to go around to the other side of the tree and we're going to find some ficus growing over there. There's a lot of figs that grow into trees and these guys actually, these guys are actually parasites. They're not, like a, a lot of the other plants are just kind of using the tree as a place to live. These guys are actually sucking nutrients out of the tree. Um, and you can see it right there. That's a, uh, that's a ficus tree, and that's another ficus tree. And this is the leaf of the uh, peach. It's kind of a legume type leaf, it's a compound leaf. This whole thing is one leaf. Uh, here's the leaf of the ficus tree. It's a normal kind of broad leaf. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. See ya.